Hello everyone and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. We are still kicking on with this big build, having an absolute blast while we do so. Uh, make sure if you're liking this series, by the way, I haven't really said this much in the last few videos, make sure you're liking, commenting and subscribing and all that good jazz. Um, if you're enjoying what you're watching, uh, right, we've got a small beach tank unlocked, which is good because we have some animals that we're beginning to unlock that are going to start to need... Uh, although I think it's cold water stuff at the moment that we'll need it. We've got the puffin, we've got the duck that will need the sort of part water, part land tanks, which is fine. We've got an awful lot of cold water stuff to do, which is good when we get there, because we're going to have loads to go. Right, we've got coral groupers, horse eye jacks, um, we've got the starfishes. From memory, and I know I said in the last video that I was going to record straight away, but unfortunately I wasn't able to in the end, but from memory... The regal tangs that I've got somewhere in here. Uh, we've got the humpback snappers in there as well, which we need to be aware of. We can throw them in there. Uh, what have we got? I think it was the it was the regal terrors. Oh, we've got Adolf's Corey. I forgot about him. What a throwback to about episode three that is. I've got all these things as well that I've bought and not not used. Uh, there you go, the Regal Tanks. These were the ones I was going to put in because they're heavily armoured. Because these horse eye jack things are absolute menaces. They're going to eat anything up to size 10. Those humpback snappers that were in there. They will oh, they'll go because they're big enough. Okay, they'll be okay. And their shoulders as well. Yeah, they'll be alright. They can go in there as well. So that's more animals we can put into this big tank. We are going to... Um, do another one of those. That was the plan alongside, which is great. Lucy has leveled up. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, four sharks for sale. Uh, yeah, do you know what? I will take those. Do I want the uh, animones? Mm, no, I think I've unlocked these anyway, haven't I? Uh, I thought I'd already unlocked those things. Are they? Oh, they're tropical as well. Um, I could have swore I had already unlocked those things. It would appear I have not, but I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, spotted box fish. Do I want those? They're quite small. Uh, can't be housed with anything else that eats cockles. That's fine. Mm, no, I'm going to leave that one. Al I'll leave it there, but I'm going to leave it alone for now because I need, I want all my money available so that I can create this other tank, which we now have enough money to create the tank, which is great. So let's go ahead now and do that. There we go. I'm hoping that they can actually walk through. I'm hoping that the, um, the AI is smart enough that it will actually, they'll force through. I mean, it is one complete run. Here we go. Where are you going? You're going to go through? Yes. Lovely. Okay, so that works. Magic, magic, magic. Let's close that off. We want Pirate Cove paint everywhere. Go. Uh, right, so now, we, again, we just need to wait for the money to build up now. We've got enough people working in this area, I think. We will need, so in zone three, zone four even. So we've got your feeding and your feeding and your fixing, aren't you? So we are going to need a, someone to do cleaning and gift shop stuff once this opens up. If we have somebody that can do both, that would be pretty damn awesome. Uh, in, no, you haven't got cleaning. I mean, we could give somebody the cleaning skill, right? So it's not the end of the world. Not one of them has both skills. They've all got one or the other. Uh, right, we'll take you to do gift shop. You're going to zone four, Mr. Alejandro. Down you come. You're into there. And then... Um, you're not going to do any of this. Any of this feeding malarkey. You're not entrusted. Uh, no, you can do all that. What am I doing? You can do all of that. 
can't do fixing and you're not doing the talking so you're cleaning and stocking which is fine uh, we will get you do you know what we will get you a pair of sneakers uh, actually or will we is this the one that's really damn expensive or was it the backpack that was still expensive might have been the backpack actually uh, yeah sneaker suspense is only 400 that's fine Okay, there we go. That is all good. Uh, we will put a staff door there. And we are almost there on everything research. So we are obviously way down on the prestige rank here. But once we open up this area, once we get more stuff in, we should be laughing. We should start to see that prestige rise up quite considerably. 165 guests. That is going to be... I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of that one, you know. I'm going to take that one because I think that should be fairly easy to do once we open up this area and we start attracting even more guests to our aquarium. Right, so first of all, um, we, I'm going to try and take a stab at having everything ready from a maintenance and, and whatever point of view. I'm going to take a stab at it. So, I think a mega filter. Have we got a mega heater? We do have a mega heater. One of those and a large, large double, which we just, just, yeah, we do have, just have enough money. So that puts that at 320. We don't have enough heating, though. I wonder if we can get away then with doing what we've done on the other tank there and having a large combi there instead. That gives us enough heat. We have got those two, two uh, protein skimmers there as well, which... Yeah, we might have to do something similar to get this one over the line. Potentially. Do it like that, just so that there's a little bit of uh, symmetry going on in terms of where the things are located. Right, we've only got 685 quid. As I sort of expected, we were going to struggle with uh, with monies. We're going to have them look exactly the same, so it looks like they're kind of walking through one giant tank when in fact it's two separate ones. Right, let's get a quick idea of what. So what we're going to put in here. So I don't think we can get these coral groupers in here because they'll be too small and they will get eaten. They will indeed. So you guys are going in there. You need a big tank, which is fine. They're a shoulder. Uh, requirement is only one plant, so we're going to need a whole bunch of plants in there, which is fine. But other than that, the herring, that's okay. They're, pr they're, pretty, uh, they're pretty reasonable. I don't mind that. Right, where were my regal tangs? There we go, regal tangs. What do you guys need? So they are real plant lovers, so they're going to need some more plants in there as well. They eat krill, which I think we've already got over there, which is great. That's cool. And wasn't the thing that I just bought... Yeah, these sharks, in theory, can go in there as well. So I could throw the sharks in there. Um, was there anything... And I think I also said, did I not, that the humpback snappers could go in there as well. So we could have quite the tank here. So actually, in actual fact, we can put these ones in there now, can't we? Let's just pause for a second. So the humpback snappers can all go in there. The regal tangs can all go in there. So that's all fine. Yes, I know we need plants. Don't worry. Um, so they can all go in there, as can my sharks, I believe. Yeah, because they'll only eat stuff up to size 6. They're already at size 9, and they're already at size 8, so they're fine. So these can go in here too. Like so. So there's a lot of fishies in there. The tank itself is holding, in terms to the water quality, all of that kind of stuff. So that's fine. 
We are going to need somebody, a specialised person, aren't we? Not sure. We, we, we probably would have to just wait and see whether or not we've got enough in here. In terms of staff to be able to do all this. So your skills of feeding, you're pretty good at. We are allowing you to use supplements. Which is fine. What just what did I just see there? Antarctic sea pig, no, get rid. Don't care about those. They go in the abyssal tanks, that's cold water stuff anyway. Uh right, so what do we what did we need? We need a supplement dispenser. How much are those? I get the feeling. I oh, know they're okay. They're not too bad. Okay, supplements can go there. Krill we already had. The yellow one. What's the yellow? Is that sand eels? That is sand eels. We need more money. And then we are going to need to start putting some of this in here, aren't we? So they are plant lovers. These things need rocks. We could use these. They're going to be quite good. The velvet horns are also going to be uh, pretty useful for this. The, only, the good thing is, is that they can feed pretty quick because of that tool that they have. And as they get better and quicker at it, we should be we should be loving life. Right, we'll put some some live rocks in there as well. Some rubble. Right. Okay. We're good on all that lot now. Now. Is that because... Right, we, sh we should be okay with that. Right, we've unlocked it. Everything is unlocked now. We do need... Some more plants. And then, could we... What have we put... What have we not got in here at the moment? Got everything in here. Shit, I've still got a bunch of stuff in here that I haven't used, right? right so we can whack that in one of them. Oh, I'm not going to have space now, am I? <laughs> okay, we can't put that in there. Uh, what else do we have? There was one other thing. Floating lettuces, we can use them. We've got lanterns. Okay, we can use a, use a few of them. That's fine. Okay, right, so those are good. We've still got our... Horse eye jacks to get in there at some point as well. Just got to keep an eye on. I think we do need a third person. I think already I can see that they're struggling to to get through. There's just so many fish, to having to make like multiple journeys to 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 do everything. So I think we need to find somebody. Yeah, you'll you'll do. Ethan, bring yourself over here, my boy. You're into zone four. Uh, right, so we need to get you. Feeding set increases the equipped staff members' feeding skill by 30. Yeah, although I'm thinking, do we. Mm, no, okay, we just. We'll just roll on the fact for now that you are. Uh, you're going to be good enough by just purely having a. Because there's an extra body in there. We do need, though, feeding, another feeding stick dispenser. Uh, Ethan, get yourself one of those when you get a moment. Yeah, look at the, the time it takes to do that. But that's okay, so we should, in theory, although we've just missed a, we've just missed a day. So the sharks won't appreciate that, potentially. But yeah, we've got three people doing feeding. We should be okay. I think we're pretty close now to being able to uh, let people through now. It's getting quite busy over here. Look at this. Oh, there's a talk going on. That's why.
But let's not forget, once these people begin to level up... 10 days until they grow. Once these people all level up, um, they'll get better. So I'm not too concerned right now. Right, do you know what, guys? I'm going to let people in. The doors are open, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. I still wish there was a toggle to turn these off. I really do. Or just make it look like they're properly drawn onto the floor. They just don't look like they belong, do they? Right, so yeah, we've got the science one there. We're going to have an ecology poster. How close did we make that? We made that alongside, didn't we? So we'll do that there, like so. And then once they get through over here, should we have another little seating area over this side? I'll just move that one step back. Let's have a little look at ground level, shall we? In fact, let's go the other way. Let's let's walk through it as if we are as if we are already here. Right. Oh, the little baby fish in there. There's loads of them. Right, so we're coming down here. My God, this looks... <laughs> Not the most welcoming of of artwork and colouring, is it? But these tanks do look freaking good. If I say so myself. Look at this sheer amount of fish. Where are you going? The arrow says go that way. Obey the law of the arrows. Hello, sir. Lots of fishies in there. If we go in here, obviously we've, we've got three different types of fish in here. Where's the sharks? Oh, there they are. Languishing along the bottom. There's two more somewhere. Oh, there they are. They're both over there. So, yeah, there we go. They look pretty damn good, if I say so myself. Uh, a Greek archway. I'll leave that there. That could be useful at some point. Sandra has leveled up. Right, for some strange reason, our guests have gone down, despite the fact that I've done that. Why are you guys all upset? I really need the toilet. There's literally a toilet right there. I'm too hungry. I'm heading home. Are these people... Are these people for real? So they've literally walked from here to here and they're now all so tired, hungry and desperate to go to the toilet that they're now leaving. Even though there's a toilet there, there's a toilet there, there's food stuff here, there's chairs here. Like, are they joking? Uh, would this would this help? Apparently it does. Look how many people are now instantly sitting down. I mean, granted, we are a bit light on offering amenities to our customers. I'll give them that. madness how, how I mean maybe you do I mean that I suppose they have an arc right of an aura of, of effect for a reason I guess but the toilets are fine look there's an overlap you can see look that takes them all the way up to the entrance and the change of, of theme and that one goes into there so there is an overlap there so there should there should be absolutely no problems whatsoever here I'm happy to put some over here though to be fair because we are entering new territory over here so that's absolutely fine let's 
some uh, get some stuff down here for them. Uh, we have a. Should we should we bury it in here like, like this? There we go. It's buried in the buried in the corner. I think that made absolutely no difference. Yeah, it did. <laughs> okay. Um, Right, just get some more uh, some more food stuffs down then. Where do we want to put this? Should we put this? This all over here. Uh, we have a bin for people to use. They should be very appreciative of how much I'm sticking to the theme here. Right. So, the person in zone four... That's fine. You're, it's, it's Alejandro, but we don't have anybody who can clean right now, I don't think. I mean, and technically, Hugh can do it, but I, I suppose he could. All right, for the moment, Mr. Hugh, you are going to go do cleaning as well. You're my fixer and my cleaner. Once we get more and more machines in there, I don't think we'll have time to be able to do that. Right, who's James? Where are you? You're zone four. That's good. So you're a, somebody from this zone who has leveled up, which is very good. Uh, the blind tetra was eaten by predators. Uh, right, we've done that one. Yep. Yeah. We must be about ready to get to this shortly. Get to 165. Come on. Just out of interest, they're saying three. Oh, so it's three mega chillers for 1100. I mean, I'll take I'll take them because at some point we will need them, but we're not going to need them until ages in the future. So we've still got some more um, some more tropical fish to do. This part, this is getting quite big now, isn't it? This aquarium. I mean, what part number are we on? Is this eight or nine? I, I lose count. I think it's number eight or. or, or I don't know. I, I'm going to say eight or nine, but yeah. Either way, this is getting quite large now. This is uh, this is becoming good, and we've still got all the way over here to do. And I do definitely want to see this through. I've got a very bad habit on YouTube of of starting things and not finishing them for one reason or another. So I'm very very dedicated and motivated to see this one through. Right. Okay. So what's can we do just to because we want these people to kind of go around here don't we so do we need to move things back a little bit i think maybe we do uh we'll do, we'll do that that still covers everything in there so that's fine Just think about moving these down. Just to have a bit more space in the middle there. And it's fine that we're moving all this down this way because they're going to be coming this way. This is the path to the next area, effectively. But like we normally do, we're going to do that. And it is closed until further notice. Uh, I think one thing we should probably do as well is let's be intelligent about this and put a 
put a door there so that they can go between there. So my person who's got to do down here hasn't got to walk through the tank and back around the tank every single time. There we go. Okay, good. So that area is now finally done. Um, uh, slate cave. Have I got a slate cave? I don't think I have. I'm going to take that. Um, that's fine. Get rid of all that. The humpback snappers have all grown. Is the tank still holding in terms of everything? Yes, we are. That's good. So these now are size 16. Yeah, they're big boys. We are 100% though going to need another machine on this to pump up that water quality. There's absolutely no doubt about it when we get these other fish in. So let's see then. So these are 464 each. We need at least three. So if we go for how much have we how much space have we got? They get to size 27. So how much space have we got in that tank? We've got 96 if my mass is right. So I think we can only really get three of these in there anyway. So I think if you go to four, I think that will go over. Uh, what's three? Three seven is 21. Sixty. Yes, 81. Yeah, we're only going to get three of these in anyway. Uh, there goes our ecology thing. We, that's nice. So we got that in. We can now afford to get three of those in there. Right, let's see what they need. Where are you? Uh, right, they are absolutely happy with everything. However, the water quality is not sufficient any longer. Is a protein skimmer going to cut it? Yes, it is. Takes us to bang on 80, but that's going to drop because they're going to they're all going to grow. So we'll put those two on there for now, and that should be enough. Uh, we do need what is that? That is herring. Uh, where is herring? Herring dispenser. Go. Good stuff. Right. Okay. Good. You can't get anything for these guys. So the tool station, there's no accessories you can give them that helps them fix things faster, is there? Doesn't look like it. Uh, right, so the next stage here then is we're going to have tanks along here. So we are going to basically bring them up. I can't buy anything at the moment because we've got no money again, but we're going to bring them up basically along the back here. So we are going to need to buy out basically all of this lot. Which is going to cost me how much money? It's going to cost me 1900 So the first stage of doing this next part of the big build, and this is going to be a big build here, is to just basically plan out where everyone's going to go and plan out what we're going to have. And hopefully, once that this next part, you can see already how much... Hang on, let's just drop that. So I think we were, I'm sure we were at about 2,300 prestige. We've already jumped up a fair amount, which is really, really cool. We've got some nice, cool new archways we could use, by the way. Got some modern art. Uh, underwater ropes. We've got a new substrate as well. That's cool. We've got the large nitrate reactor. That's going to be very useful. A mega double filter. That's also going to be very useful. We've got a deluxe toilet. We've got popcorn carts. We've got some more food we can give people. Got some nice, pretty fish. A large RO machine, RO machine. We've got a U-tank. Never seen one of them before. I'm not sure what the compressor is and what that's used for. Not sure. We've got a feeding platform tank. And the vertical abyss was saying we've got a lump sucker. Sounds Australian, doesn't it? Lump sucker. What was the tank that we had then? We had a platform tank, didn't we? Oh, it's just a jetty tank. It's just that jetty tank there, which I think can, can, in fairness, get quite big. Yeah, it can. Right, okay, we've got enough money already to... Um... <laughs> no, we don't. I was too slow. So this is our next purchase. So we need $1,920. We've got 11 messages. A sheer number of messages that we get 
is madness. I think when your when your aquariums get as big as this, the micromanagement, especially of staff and leveling up, becomes quite crazy just because the sheer amount of stuff that you have. I don't know whether there was would be anything you could do where you could kind of set the way in which you set the tasks that they are allowed to compete or complete. Sorry. It would be kind of cool if maybe the upgrade system can be tweaked so that you can say, right, rather than me doing it individually, which you should probably still leave as an option, but you should also be able to say, right, only upgrade the skills that they are currently being allowed to use. So if they are basically being told that they're not doing anything other than feeding, then upgrade the feeding, you know? That alone would, would quite substantially reduce the amount of uh, of micromanaging that we're having to do on a fairly regular basis. Okay, right, so we've got, we're going to open all this up. So this is still going to make part of a larger area here. We probably could be cheeky here and do do that and keep keep the main wall there. <clears throat> um. Maybe we could be clever and do it like that. So we we'll keep it right out of the way. And do this, do the same there as well. We can probably now. I mean, rather than just having one massive area, we could like. If we really wanted to, uh, you know, I mean, this is tends to, this tends to be how I do it anyway. I tend to have like, these big areas and just have everything behind the scenes. I'm kind of going off kind of the viewer exp or the, the customer experience here where they're not seeing anything. They can't see anything behind the scenes other than maybe peeking through a little gap there every now and then. Um, but if I wanted to, I would create like, I should create like cupboards where all, the where all the food are. I should create a cupboard where all the tools and sponges and brooms are and all that kind of stuff. But at the minute, there's just not really a need. Right, already, there you go. Look, our water quality has gone down. Um, now, could get clever here, couldn't we? We could do this. Have them face to face. But what happens if we did that? Put one behind. Is that enough? That is now enough. And we've also got, if we want, if we needed to, we can put something on the back of that as well. So, <clears throat> excuse me, all four of those things are reachable for repairs, which is good. Those horse eye jacks, when they get to full size and they've still got some growing to do, it's going to be, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need, I might even need to put a second pump thing somewhere just for all of the, all of the filters. I don't know whether... Let's just have a quick look. So at the moment, it's 81 out of 80. I got rid of that and just put the two large protein skins on. Does that increase my numbers? I think that is actually exactly the same, is it not? I think it might be. Just... Kind of, I'm just experimenting at this point. So the nitrate reactors do give me better results. So let's see. I did that. No. Have we not got? We haven't got a mega protein skimmer, have we yet? Okay, right. That will do for now then. Did we get? Is there a mega? I've oh, got a mega double filter in the next one. I thought. It's interesting that we're going to get a mega double filter. And a large nitrate reactor before we're going to get a mega protein skimmer. You get 100 out of the... See, the weird thing is you actually get... Okay. You actually get more out of this. Look, you get 100 on that. Yeah. Okay. Whatevs. Twenty. Oh my god! And the rope. Uh, I'm gonna be unlocking that fairly soon anyway, so I don't necessarily need that. Uh, you can unlock fixing Emma. I'm pretty sure you're my 
talker person, aren't you? I'm pretty sure you're just doing all the talks. Uh, let's get rid of all the breeding reports. Horseside Jack has grown to 18. That's fine. Hugh has leveled up. What the fuck are you doing, Hugh? I think you're the guy who is in zone 4. Where's my staff? I think you're the guy that's in zone 4 that's currently doing a bit of everything, aren't you? Uh, yes, he is the guy that I've allowed to do fixing and cleaning. Uh, so, fixing at the moment just because there's a lot of machines in there. Uh, Grace, where are you, Grace? So this is what I mean, I'm having to go through and find them. So you're cleaning and gift shop, aren't you? Christina, obviously you're feeding. Ashley, you're feeding, you must be feeding as well. You're fixing. Uh, I don't want that, please go. Feeding for Rachel. Fixing for Sven. Can he level up feeding anymore? He can't level. So he is now as high as he will go. Um, I mean, I guess we can teach him fixing too. I guess when they get to that level, we just start teaching them another skill. Maybe we can utilize them in multiple ways, but yeah, for now, they don't necessarily need it. Right. Slowly building up our money. Let me just chip slids again. We can probably start selling a few of these again. Our sharks are growing up. And what was the prob what's the problem with the shark, please? Haven't been fed. Oh. Most of them have been fed. So we have three people in there doing feeding, and they've all got the old feeding sticks on them. And they still can't keep up with two tanks. That's, that's kind of mad, isn't it? Do I need a fourth person in there for feeding? I mean, I'm probably going to need them anyway because we're going to start putting tanks over here, but yeah, that's kind of uh, that's kind of crazy. Right, okay, so let's make a quick plan then. What are we going to put in next? So we've got the coral groupers that need to go in. They will eat animals up to size three. Um, I mean, if we put you in first, you guys could go in the same tank, I think. He's greedy. Cannot be house. I mean, there's only one of them that can go in anyway. And then we could get some starfish in there, I think. Uh, what other... Right, so right, let's get rid of those and let's get rid of the regal tanks because we've done that. Um, okay, and that one as well. Have we got any other fish in here that we can that we can uh, utilize? I'm going to say no to that one. Um, yeah, do you know what? I think we will take these. These are armored guys as well. Yeah, I think we're going to take those. They can go in. We did that one already. Already. Mega Yeah, that's fine. Atlantic mackerel. Pretty sure we unlock them. Yes, we do in the next one, so we don't need to worry about those. We're not in the in that part of the aquarium yet. Anyway, right, these guys must be getting a bit uh, a bit cramped and crowded, aren't they? Let's uh, sell a couple of them. Um, there's also quite a few of these in here who can who can be sold. There we go. Nice little uh, influx of money. Okay, so then, to recap, they can go up to nine. So all of these, this, this is our next tank here, isn't it? So we can only have one of those in there because it cannot be housed with another coral grouper. Does that mean, I'm assuming that means, yeah, no, well, yeah. So they can only go on their own, basically. Um, you... Are oh, fine. It's just the cockerel, um, and no one else is eating cockles. I oh, said cockerels then. Cockles. They're both greedy, and you guys are just going to eat the scraps and leftovers anyway. You are a starfish. Uh, they will eat starfish of size one to two. That's fine because you are going to be a three minimum. So you are fine. So I don't think we need a massive tank for this one, to be brutally honest. 
maybe we mix it up. So we've had a couple of very in the, in the recent areas, we've had some very big time tanks, and we've got the two bridge tanks there. We've got the two tunnel ones there. So maybe we just go back to having a bit of a basic bitch tank. What, what is it? What does this one look like? Just out of interest. Okay, you'd have to have a very specific setup to have that. You'd have that like in the middle and have them walk around either side, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't think we need anything crazy for this. I really don't. Do we just go for a... Do we go for a floor tank? Well, I mean, we can get quite a lot in there in terms of size. We can get a lagoon tank or something. Which is that one over there? What type of tank is this? That's a floor tank. Yeah, I think we can, I think we just go for a lagoon tank, you know. Right, let's build out this because this is where stuff's gonna go. So I suppose the only other consideration here is that if we have a floor tank in here like this, it's gonna need to be. It's, it's, I mean, it's fine, right? It doesn't matter. We can have the floor tank go in there like that. Maybe move it down here a little bit. We could maybe have another... Could we have another tank going in here? Make sure there's a decent amount of room either side. Gonna need to, uh, gonna need to cover off that bit, aren't we? Oh, I can't put it there. Oh, that's because it's a thing, isn't it? Really? I think it probably needs to be a pirate cove one. I think they'll see more of it than the other side will. Of all of the uh, the biomes, if you like, or the themes, this is probably my least favourite. It's it's not the most pleasing on the eye, is it? This Pirate Cove one. This guy's got a lot of fixing to do. My God, why is everything broken at the fucking same time? Okay, right. Now there's a problem because. Uh, hang on a second. What zone are you in? Why are you coming and stealing the broom from zone three, you bitch? Right, what are you doing? Right, no. You cannot, you cannot be doing that. Get back in there and start fixing. You have things to fix. Get fixing! Uh, hang on. Hang on a second. Yeah, I thought that might be the problem. Zone 4 is not involved. Okay, right. Now he's going to go get fixing. Hopefully he hurries up about it because one or two of those things are a little bit on the uh, close side. I don't know how long the fish inside survive when the requirements of like the heating and everything else are not being met. I think we should. I think it goes to five o'clock, so I think he should just about, just about. Get it all repaired and done. Okay, we're good. We are good. Right, we do now need somebody to come over and do cleaning. And gift shop. Can we please have somebody that can do both? Cleaning and gift shop. Magic. There we go. Uh, where are 
die yet. Uh, right, you're in zone four. There we go. Uh, now, remind me if I'm... Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I had somebody else who was doing... You, wasn't it? That was doing both. So actually, I'm going to... I'm going to take your sneakers off. You, Laura, will have the sneakers because you are able to do both. And actually, I'm now going to retrain you, Mr. Alejandro. You are going to switch to feeding. You can't do that. Okay. And we are going to get you a stick. So he's very low level. That's fine. He can be a. He can be one of our. He can be an apprentice. There you go. Oh, I just realised that is. Yeah, that's kind of rubbish, isn't it? Because we we won't be able to place walls along that, will we? No. Uh, right. Put that there. There we go. That sort of solves the problem. Ish. Uh, right, where's Alejandro? Is it be the final one I click? Yes, of course it is. No, not sneakers, those. It'll be interesting to see how long this goes before my computer starts to struggle with the sheer amount of things that's going on. There's insufficient space. Alejandro's already leveled up. Perfect timing. Uh, right, so... And now we... Again, everything's grown up again, so now here we are. Here we are, back at the same point again. Um... We're all just having another one of those in there suffice. It gets us close, but it's not enough. My word. Well, we don't really have much of a choice then. We are going to have to put in... Uh, ...another pump. ...of those. Uh, it is now full up in terms of size. One of these horse-eye jacks now can't grow. So we're going to have two big old ones. Fuck me, they are humongous! <laughs> Jesus! That's a screenshot right there. They are absolutely mental. So yeah, we've effectively got a big mum and a big dad and a, and a kid. So that's how it's going to stay. Absolutely astonishing size. Right. Let's turn our attention back to this before we wrap up this episode. Let's just see if we can get this one done and dusted. Uh, we are going to need... No, not a light. That's the wrong button. We're going to need a pump. Hopefully we won't need quite as much with this one. Might even just be able to get away with that and that. That might be enough. Right, let us put our stuff in. So we can only have one of those. Um, that's fine. We can have 
We have no, we now have no more money. Do we have cockles? We don't. I don't think we've got cockles in there, do we? Uh, where is our cockles? Are these they must be quite expensive. Then where's the stripe? I'm gonna have to f make my way through this entire list now. Here we go. Box fish. Hundred percent. They're not that expensive each, to be honest. Um, and then finally, not in aquarium, we're going to get a bunch of these in here. 150 each, not too bad. There we go, that should be enough. Uh, right, Abdul is now fully leveled, so is Jennifer. I mean, you're fixing 10 now, so you may as well start learning the feeding skill. We're going to have an entire aquarium full of people who are... Well, that could be... Uh, do I, wanna sp I don't want to spend the money. I haven't got the money on it anyway. It's fine. Um, yeah, this could be an, a case that we get to a, a point where we have an aquarium just full of very multi-talented people. It's the other way around, isn't it? Um, so we have a pitted column. But then it just wants some rocks. Like so. Minus 1800 again. Oh my god, like. Unless I'm doing something wrong, it seems incredibly difficult to just build up a reserve of money without just leaving the game running for a day. Because we're always so far behind on monies. We have to sit here and wait now for ages to get enough money to do anything. That report about the um, the uh, horse-eyed jack that's not going to be able to grow is going to keep coming up every single day now. So I've got a decision to make. I either sell another fish in there to allow it to grow or I sell that horse-eyed jack or deal with the, the fact that those messages are going to come through every single day for the rest of this playthrough. There we go. Right. We are also going to want a glass divider. Like so, around the outside of the tank. And if we move that a little bit more like that, that way... If we did, if we were to have another tank here, let's just move it a bit more. Let's go, let's go the other side. We might be able to use this pump to power both tanks, potentially. I mean, they the areas back here they do look shit. I get, I'll grant you that. If if there are people watching and they're looking at this thinking this isn't very well spaced out, to be honest, I'm, I'm I honestly I don't care. I know it looks rubbish, and I could spend loads of time making it look all nice and synchronous or symmetrical, whatever. I'm more thinking about the experience of the customer. That's the angle I'm going for with this. Uh, mega double filter. Interesting. Well, we don't have anything like enough of them. Oh, it would just actually, it would just straight unlock it. No, we don't need to do that because we're all we're not far off. Look, we're getting real close to this, and we get that in the next one, and we can unlock it using our science. We've got to pay nearly 4,000 to unlock that. That would be a little bit on the silly side. Um, right. Okay. I think I'm going to end the episode there. You know, we've, we've got that tank up and running. We've done the second tank. We've extended the area. We've begun to build out where we're going next. I think we're in a good spot. Um, I need to 
In the next episode, we're going to need to build up a stash of funds because we're going to have to open this out. We're going to have to fill it with seats and machines and bins and other bits and pieces around here. And then we can start looking to get some more fish. What we do need to do is try and get to this point so that we can maybe look to have some more tropical fish. But I just get the sense that we are beginning to uh, run out of, of tropical fish. We have got some more here, actually, to be fair, that I'd forgotten about, these freshwater ones. So we have still got some more to play, which is really good news. So yeah, we'll look to get these in in the next episode. But thank you very much, everyone, for watching. This has been episode 8 or 9 or 10 or 11. I've lost count. But I'm enjoying this. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are too. Let me know there in the comments down below if you're enjoying this. And I'll see you all in the next one.